I'm Nick Lester from Dynamics. Um, I specialize in data acquisition for mountain biking. Uh, we're here in Andorra with NS and E13 to do some testing on E13's new Sidekick Hub. So the rider for the test is um, Ryan, who works for NS. He's a mechanic. The idea behind this was that we can prove that it benefits your more average rider as well as the professional racer as well. Just gonna go for a run. Got the standard setup. Should be feeling quite a bit of kickback. Got normal chain ring on the front, normal hub on the rear. No other pulley. Uh, so the, the way we're testing is we're going to have uh, one rider um, riding the same bike. We're just going to change the, the wheel over. It's quite a long run, so we found one section that was about a minute, 20, a minute and a half. That was the same section of track we used for all four runs. So we're going to do two runs on the standard E13 hub and two runs on the new Sidekick hub with one of my data acquisition systems on the bike. So the data system on the bike comprises of a data logger. It has a GPS antenna on it, so we can map speed and we can map out the track. There's a linear potentiometer on the fork and the shock, and this will give us the position and speed of the suspension. And then there's also an accelerometer mounted to the crank, which will give us the acceleration that the crank is subjected to when pedal kickback happens. Uh, yeah, done a couple of runs on the uh, common top track here in Andorra. Now I'm just gonna drop in, do a few more, check out the differences between the hubs. Um, yeah, so we just uh, finished up um, doing some runs on the new Sidekick Hub today. Uh, straight away, um, kind of noticed the bike actually had a bit more braking traction and uh, like going into corners being on the brakes the, um, the back end of the bike actually felt quite a bit smoother and um, there's a bit of um, less kickback uh, pretty noticeable um, but yeah definitely the the suspension and the bike being more settled um, under hard braking in rough conditions um, yeah that was super noticeable straight off the bat. So I got the data from the logger and um, using my own tools, I cleaned the data up and isolated the, the bits of information I wanted. Um, and I found out that with the Sidekick Hub, the cranks are exposed to 13% less accelerations that are induced by pedal kickback. And this results in 21% less time that the cranks are being pulled by the chain. The green lines are the uh, standard hub and the purple lines are the sidekick hub. And for the most part, you can see that the green lines are bigger than the purple lines. So this shows that the sidekick hub reduces the accelerations that the crank is experienced to. This is the one that shows that there's 21% um, less time that the cranks are being moved as a result of the accelerations recorded on the other graph. Really enjoy that uh, it's easy to adjust as well for different bike setups, different trails. You can uh, adjust the, uh, the dead band, uh, so the amount of kind of float before the engagement of the hub. Um, super easy to adjust, it's all uh, pretty much tool free, so that's pretty handy as well if you're changing tracks quite a bit. The other benefit I found with this particular bike was that when we used the Sidekick hub, it didn't change the characteristics of the, the way the shock was working. So you could, you could have your bike set up perfectly, change this hub. It doesn't change the way the suspension works, but it gives you the benefits of much more stable feet, less fatigue on your, on your quads as a result of fighting the cranks. The extra rolling speed because the pulls aren't engaged all the time was, was noticeable as well. It's actually pretty cool to be able to ride the hub and really gain an understanding of what the rider is feeling when they're on it. Um, it's cool to be able to uh, you know, make the different adjustments on the hub, go out, test that, and um, be able to understand what the riders are uh, talking about when they're um, getting more or less feedback uh, from the trail uh, through the wheel set. Coming from me, mechanic, um, I've been on a bike for a long time, but I'm in no means a professional rider, so it was really cool to be able to actually get on the bike and uh, even at my level, um, be able to feel the difference and adjust the changing the hub provided. And yeah, overall, it's a um, great impression so far.